Good morning to those who listen. It is April 14, 2018, 11.18 a.m. Look at the sun simulator again. This time I'm at minus three. I started off that way. Most of the time it's too bright. Here's default. Amp see, and then it'll flash, so then we can't have that. We can't have that. Otherwise people will complain. Oh, there's the disc. See, now look, there it is. Wow, I got lucky and got got it right at the right time. So there it goes back in the sun simulator. See that disc? That thing, I think, is not the sun. It's not the moon. I believe it's a moon of another planet from the Planet X system. I'm not sure about it, but I think it's Inyana from Arboda. But, you know, I'm not sure, but that's what I, I think from what I've heard from Alex. Alex Luhan over at Planet X. Got an awesome channel over there. So make sure you check him out if you haven't already. He shows some just amazing photos for, that people send in and videos that people send in. It's just amazing. Lots of double sunsets. I mean, just, just, just plain evidence where you can see, you know, that, you know, there's something else coming in. So, another thing about this, my channel, I wanted to say, is this is all for the glory of God. And I know people might not like that, but that's what I believe. I believe in Jesus. I believe Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And if we go through him, we can have everlasting life. But we must go through Jesus. Look at that weird... Uh, space in there. That looks strange. Hmm. Let's take the welder's lens really quick. If I can hurry up and get there. Let me zoom in as it gets small. Come on, get in there. Where are you? Where are you? Ugh. How come I can't find it? Zoom off for a minute. Where is it? How come I can't see it? Let me push test on the welder's lens. Maybe the batteries are getting low. Where is it? How come I can't see it with the welder's lens? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, maybe the batteries are dead on it or something. All right, hold on. Let's let's bump up the bump up the volume. Nope. Bump up the brightness. Back to default. Whoa, that's crazy looking. Darn it! I wanted this. Let's try it with the. Uh... There we go. Maybe it was just uh, too dark to see it. Okay, that was probably the reason. All right, there's the disc, which some people say is the sun, but I really don't think so. If it is the sun. Why is it so small? All right, I don't think we're gonna see anything in the clouds. Although in the last video, I did see the object with the clouds. I saw an object underneath. <coughs> Through the clouds. I bumped it down to minus three and look at how bright it is. And look at how, look at how crazy that looks, come on. Look at how crazy that looks. If you see those little bugs, those are little gnats flying around overhead. There's the disc in between all that crap. See, how can a light source, here's one of my examples, how can a light source pass through another light source when the only light source is supposed to be the sun? There can only be one sun. Only one can be the sun. So everything else, that's what I've been saying, is a sun simulator, whether it's an actual simulator or if it's just something that's producing artificial light. So this thing is definitely producing artificial light. Come on, it's obvious. And people say, oh, it's the sun's shining through the clouds. I don't think so, come on. Sure, it's making part of that, but the sun wouldn't look like that if it was behind clouds. 
And another thing again, I always say, how can clouds go behind the sun? It's impossible. And why is the sun white? Pure, bright white. Here's the blue color coming in. I'm gonna do a prayer. I got a prayer that I got from the Bible verse. They give you Bible prayers too. And I'm gonna do that instead of me praying. I'm not the most eloquent speaker and I can't, I don't pray very well. I'm not a good prayerer. Prayerer. <laughs> There's the disc again. Possible object. Hmm. Possible object there, I can't tell. See another thing I can't, I don't always see things either until after I play it back. Sometimes I don't see it at all, so I appreciate everybody's comments if they see something that I don't see. Holy moly. I don't know if we would see anything with the Baldur's lens or not. Now it's pretty bright. All right, let's try it. Checking heat, not bad. <clears throat> Gotta zoom in to see it more. Boy, yeah, see it was probably too dark. So the settings, since it comes out again here, yeah, now it's not as bright. Bad timing that time. <clears throat> Still looks bright though. Look at how bright white it looks. I probably have to bump up the brightness to see that. What's that in the middle? Not sure. But you know what? I'm gonna try to hold it here, and you guys watch while we do a prayer. Now, oh, I wanted to say this because I got sidetracked when something was happening. But this channel is about the glory of, for the all for the glory of God is to show the signs. <coughs> In the sun and the moon and the stars show signs of just weirdness in our skies. Uh, you know, I also do Bible prophecy like Israel News. So anything that relates to Bible prophecy, anything that relates to Israel, because Israel is the key part of Bible prophecy. And of course, we got other stuff going on, like with the alliance between, look at that, how small that tiny little disc is now. Look at how tiny it is. There's proof right there for you, too. There's no way our sun could get that tiny. That disc could be just there to shine the light around where the area where the sun was supposed to be. Because our sun might not be back there in this area. I'm not saying it's gone forever. And it's not, you know, out there at all. I'm just saying it's probably... It could be somewhere else. We could have... Our Earth could have already been tilted from... Earth wobble and maybe we're off axis and things are in the different parts of sky and they're using the sun simulator to make it look like that's where the sun should be look at that thing I'm zoomed in look at if I zoom all the way out look at how tiny that little disk is to me more proof look at that All right, let's see it come out the other side. Ooh, got bright. All right, let's get in there so we can see it a little. Is it going to come out, or is it going to stay hidden behind that light source? What's that? Is there something over there? Do you see that? Is it just a cloud? I can't tell. It's probably just a cloud. But look at how weird this looks. Does that look normal to you? At least admit that that's not normal. Whether you believe in the Sun Simulator, whether you believe in Planet X, look at that, holy crap. Just a cloud, maybe. But surely weird. Surely strange. Stop calling me Shirley. Sorry, I see I get distracted when uh, I'm doing the videos. So you know what, let's just end this video. <coughs> And the next video is for people that want to hear a prayer and a Bible verse and want to hear more about what my channel is all about. So I invite you to come to the next video and 
because you know this is long and most people probably especially the people that don't believe probably turned it off a long time ago let's do one more shot with the welder's lens if we can get get it zoom in well there's lens in place there you are is there something below if there is that could be a planet or a moon of the planet x system I'm not saying it is but i have not been confirmed well i I haven't been confirmed that it isn't something below there. I mean, there's people that say it's a reflection or a lens flare. It's not a lens flare. I can tell you that because it would be moving when I'm moving this. And it's staying stable if it is. I can't see it right now if it is. I'm going to zoom in a little more. All right. So this is already a long enough video, but hopefully you'll see, you know, what's going on here. There's something going on. And it doesn't matter if there's clouds or not. There's something happening all the time. So I believe that's part of, you know, the end of days. These are signs in the sun. Whether they're man-made or whether they're from God. I had people commenting on that. Oh, the God wouldn't show that in there. Well, it might not be, but it's a sign. It's a sign of the times. All right, so there you go. There's our sun simulator. Look at how misshaped it is again. Sun doesn't do that, people. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. God bless.